To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar and welcome to Simplify Your Space. It is common to find waste and discarded items cluttering our homes, often leaving us puzzled about what to do with them. In today's video, we will see how to transform these unwanted items into simple yet practical solutions. These DIY ideas not only make some tricky areas easy to organize and manage, but also help us save money. So let's get started. You might have noticed I have many indoor plants. Some are big, some are small. I often move them around to get sunlight or for cleaning. Moving the larger ones can be hard because they are heavy. Here is a tip. Instead of putting your plants directly in those big heavy planters, use light plastic pots and put these pots inside the heavy planters. They are much easier to lift and move so you won't strain your back. Often these plastic planters come free with the plants and remain waste after repotting. Another idea is to get a plant stand with wheels. This makes it easy to roll heavy plants around. If you have an old LPG cylinder stand, you can repurpose it. Just put an old plate on top and use it as a plant stand. Using old pillow covers to pack and store delicate saris is a smart trick I have mentioned before. To cover the saris in hanger, you can find these kind of hanging sari covers online, but they are often costly. If you have old pillow cases at home, you can turn them into hanging covers. Simply make a hole at the top of the pillow case for the hanger to fit through. You can use it as it is or hem the sides for a neater appearance. Now hang your saris in these modified covers. Just like that, you've got useful homemade cotton sari covers ready to use. After covering the saris, Let's look at how to store their blouses. We often use these kind of special bags to store blouses. But if you don't have these bags, you can use old cotton or quilted cushion covers you have at home. Cushion covers are smaller in size, making them convenient to use as storage bags. Simply store your blouses inside these cushion covers and they will be protected from dust. Isn't it a nice hack? Sometimes we have these kind of extra glass bottles at home and aren't sure how to use them. I had some lying around too. These bottles can be great for storing cereals, oats or pulses in the pantry. Their narrow mouths makes it easy to pour out small quantities which is very handy. Plus since they are tall and slim, they don't take up much space. This approach not only offers a practical and space-efficient storage solution, but also allows you to save money by repurposing what you have instead of buying new grocery containers.
As you know, I always emphasize on labeling. Labeling makes things easier to keep and find. You will find many types of labels in the market. But if you do not have labels and don't wish to buy, you can do labeling using a scotch tape. Because it is transparent, it will not be visible and now you can write content on it with a permanent marker. Alternatively, you can use masking tape to write labels. And see how easily your labels are ready without spending anything. Shelf racks are great for maximizing cabinet space, allowing you to store more items efficiently. You can create these handy organizers at home using materials like an old shoe box. By cutting off the front part of the shoe box, you transform it into a simple shelf. For additional sturdiness, reinforce the sides with extra cardboard. Feel free to customize it with decorative paper or vinyl sheet to make it look nice. DIY shelves are versatile. Use them in child's room for books and stationery, on a dressing table for assorted items, or in the kitchen for organizing tools and spices. This is a straightforward and practical solution for organization. We all use these type of elastic hair ties to make ponytails. After some time, these bands become quite loose and we stop using them. But don't throw them away. We can use them as cable ties to tie different type of cables like charging cables, earphones, big wires of appliances, etc. These ties help in keeping different cables neatly organized and prevent them from tangling. In the kitchen, we use these snack clips to tie open packets. If we don't have these, we can use old thick hair bands to close open packets. These elastic bands are much stronger than normal plastic bands and hence do not break. Secondly, our money is also saved because we are repurposing the old waste items of our house. Installing liners in drawers and cabinets helps protect them from dust and makes them easier to clean. Before you buy expensive liners, check if you have any old table mats at home that you are not using. These table mats can be excellent alternatives for drawer and cabinet liners. In fact, I use this type of table mats as liner throughout my house. They are also very easy to remove and wash which makes them convenient and practical. When applying or removing makeup, we often use cotton pads or paper napkins in the bathroom or at the dressing table. Usually we collect all these and throw them in the dustbin. But what if we keep a small bin for this purpose right in our bathroom or dressing area? It makes things easier. And we can easily make one at home. For this, you will need an empty plastic box and a wet tissue dispenser. Mark the lid of the box to match the size of the dispenser and then cut out the part with the cutter. Stick the dispenser on the top of the box.
You can even decorate it with a vinyl sheet to make it look nice. And there you go, your small bin is ready. Now you can place it on a dressing table to collect small waste like used cotton pads and tissue papers. It is also handy in the kitchen or in your car for discarding small wrappers or tissues. It is a really useful addition. These kind of small boxes we often find at home and usually discard. But these can be turned into something incredibly useful. Let's repurpose these into a fantastic organizer. I took four of these boxes, stacked and glued them one atop another. Since these boxes are already quite attractive, they don't require much alteration. For an added touch of beauty, you can wrap it with a decorative paper. And just like that, a charming and functional organizer is ready. This versatile organizer can be used in various ways. It can help keep your puja items neatly stored or be placed on your desk to organize small stationery and essentials. And there you have it, a wonderful cost-free organizer easily crafted from items around the house. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you found these hacks useful. Please comment and let us know which one is your favorite. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe to Simplify Your Space for more such videos. I'll see you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.